First one was, if you're going to ask this group of kids to tell you about their achievements, their community service, you better give them a big piece of paper. They're a pretty amazing group. Um, the second thing we decided was they probably haven't slept in four years because that's the only way I could explain everything they've accomplished. So, good job, guys. Um, the first $500 scholarship goes to Bailey Ian. <laughs> Good evening to the veterans of Fallen Wars, Redfield. Every year, our opponents like to give away to three area schools to the graduating senior girl and boy who excel with a combination of both athletic and scholastic achievement. We would like to present a hundred dollar cash award to Bailey Edmander and Caleb Wanda. And last 
and it got to the scholarship award from our local post, Martin and Austin 292. Each year, uh, post 292 gives away a, a scholarship to a, to a boy based on GPA, uh, community involvement, and leadership. Um, this year's, uh, this year's uh, winner is Zach Bear. Okay, this year 
two, di two individuals. First one, Anthony Anderson. And the second one goes to Caleb Warner.
every year we have um, the Lee Schlegel opportunity to get the scholarship. And this family, um, uh, the mother comes down quite often. I don't even know if a lot of you even know that. The mother does come down, you probably know that. But the, also the sister is always here. And they do a lot of our volleyball games. And they're always asking questions about different people, boys and girls, uh, what kind of person they are, um, you know, what activities they're in, what kind of student they are. So when, when we get those opportunities to get these scholarships, it's always it's very special that they would choose somebody from our school. And the Schlegel family is somebody who has been putting on the, the Lee Schlegel Memorial Basketball Tournament for, for several years. Uh, we've been very fortunate over the past few years to have several individuals. Um, I will say that when my daughter got this award, to me that was a very special award because I know the family personally and I also know, you know a little bit about the son that I have seen grow up. And so when you get chosen for a scholarship like this, it's quite an honor, as well as every scholarship that you receive. And so I think as a community of Hitchhiker Jewelry, and I know they get them out of other schools too, but we have been very fortunate that we've received them about the past four or five years. And they do this for several, several of the schools that participate in the tournament. Lee Schlegel was the son of Terry Ben Schlegel, who was an outstanding athlete at Park High School. His life ended as a result of an uh, asthma attack at the age of 25 while attending Park High School. He excelled in sports. He was a quarterback in the 2002 11 State Championship football team. And a key player on the basketball team that was runner up to Chester in 2004. In track, he was a member of the State Championship medley relay team his senior year. Lee was at his best when the game was bigger and more important. He was a player you could count on in the big game, thriving in situations where there was an opportunity to do something special for his team. This year's recipient of the Lee Schlegel Scholarship for $250, which we distributed in June, is Allie Vayner. Thompson Legacy Scholarship. 
First of all, I have many quick thank yous that have helped me in this. I would like to thank all the people that have made donations to the scholarship, including the families of Harvey Beard, Clifford Noll, and Ireland Smith, who generously gave more money in Kennedy's honor. I would like to thank the cheerleaders for donating part of their t-shirt sales to the scholarship fund. Finally, I want to thank all of you that have bought it. You did a super job, which made our job of picking a winner very, very difficult. After many days and thoughts and rereading essays and rereading essays, we picked Cameron Rainer for the $2,017 Kennedy Legislative Scholarship.
Catholic Daughters presents scholarships to daughters or granddaughters of Catholic Daughter members. The graduates need to be active in church, school, and community activities, and write an essay on what their future parish involvement intentions are. The recipient of the $200 scholarship is Cameron Bigger. Scholarships is awarded to a graduating senior that has attended religious education through their senior year, is active in church, school, and community activities, and wrote an essay on respecting all human life. The recipient of the Right to Life $100 scholarship is also Cameron Bayer. Or, or higher, and obviously 
um, have good character and, and a good understanding of exactly what it means to be a patriot. So I was just going to um, read them off here. Please hold your applause until the uh, show is uh, Allie Vayner. Cameron Vayner. Gabe Clark. Bailey Cole. Just trying to be a better person. So I quote this. 
The question was, what should the next seven prayers, so we're coming up next year, what should they know? And this really stuck out to me. Always hold the door for ladies, even in your class. Let them to the front of the line at lunch and all other things. Always do your homework and respect your teachers. This year's 2017 Most Improved Student, and I'm very proud of the hard work this young man has put in, Landon Puff.
Next up is the uh, Regent Scholar. Uh, to be a Regent Scholar, you must take four years of math, English, social studies, science, two, four, two years of a foreign language, you need a, a year of uh, fine arts, you need a year of GPE. Uh, it's basically a full load, and you must maintain a C average or higher. And I'm very honored to present our three Regent Scholars recognized by the state of South Dakota to Cameron Banner, Bailey Leander, and Brandon Lee.
And finally, in Rosier, I want to give an extra mile award. This award, I wanted to give to an individual who really went that extra mile for me when I asked. Because I know that this individual had not done Rosier before, and I asked two weeks before the visit if he would compete and do a solo in front of a lot of people. Okay? This individual, he really gave me his all. I know he had never done this before, but I was so proud of how he did. So this year's extra round award goes to Cody Wright. Our chapter was honored to have two groups who qualified for runoffs with their projects. 
Runoffs are when they take the top two groups from each category and make them represent the project to new judges. Although neither of these groups advance to nationals, our chapter is still proud of their accomplishments. Both of these groups re receive gold top superior awards. These groups were Ashlyn Otto and Bailey Eander, and Grace Erickson, Dawson Otto, and Bailey Cole. I would like to recognize this year's FCCLA chapter president. Ashton Otto served as the 2017 2018 chapter president. Thank you for your service and please come forward to accept your award.
uh, just because the chips are in front of them on the table. Um, they're, they're working extremely hard. And they're, they're getting better each and every day, and we appreciate their effort. We hope they stick it out and, and make that Patriot Park band the best he possibly be. Good job on you, man, department. Excellent guy.
seniors that received their state FFA degree, the highest degree that they can receive at the state level. Uh, would you please come forward at this time? Uh, Ellie? Anthony? Cameron? Um, this year, the National Interscholastic Athletic Administration Association, and that's three times real fast, has decided to bring to the attention of all communities and schools of the hard work and dedication that athletes put in during the, the sports season. And I came up and I, and I started kind of talking about this during the last award night when I talked about the multi-sport athlete, and it was just kind of interesting how it went up to the activities, or to the uh, athletic directors conference out in, in Deadwood this year, where they decided that this year they wanted to recognize all athletes who were three sport athletes, um, and present them with a certificate, because it's becoming one of those things that's more and more rare as we go along. And it is kind of a, a special thing when you have somebody who participates in, in three sports throughout the school year. Um, it's been brought to the attention of the NFL draft and all over the place how a lot of these individuals who go on to um, more sports from, from beyond high school into college and the professional level or whatever and how they were not specialized or they were just people who you know, participate in everything. When you get a small school, we have participation in a lot of different activities. And sometimes it's hard for us to participate in, in all sports. And, but it is special when we do have those athletes that participate in three sports, four sports. And it, it's becoming something that um, is more rare nowadays. And so this year, we'd like to take this opportunity to recognize our three sport athletes first. Hold your applause when I am finished. I will. I'm going to mess all these up here. I will go through these and I will have them come up and I will present them with their certificate. Our three sport athletes this year are Kennedy Ian, Ashley Massett, Dan Peterson. Caitlin Ratchin, Tony Wright, Elizabeth Solomon, Grant Hamilton, Ty Hofer, Anthony Anderson, Allie Vinger, Bailey Eneander, and Gail Warner. Give them a round of applause. We'd <laughs> also like to take this opportunity to recognize a couple of individuals in our school that even go a little bit further beyond 
and they participate in what's going to say a three season or a three sport athlete. We have two individuals in our school that that do four sports, and that's a commitment. And it, it, sometimes it, it gets very hard to do that. But we have two of those athletes that need to be recognized, and they are Colin McNeil and Logan Gilbert. Also, the Healthy Activities Associate, our athletic directors, conference, they also came up with a, a certificate to recognize the scholar athlete. That person participates in sports and also maintains an A average in their schoolwork. Um, we're very fortunate to have quite a few individuals who do this as well. And this is an honor. I mean, you should look at this as, as something that you should take pride in that you can participate in sports and still maintain your A average in your academics. I know what it's like. I mean, I see you guys on the school bus. I see some of you studying on the way to basketball games, football games, track games, whatever. And I do see the hard work that goes in. And it's good to be recognized for the, for the efforts that you put in. So as I call your name, please come forward. Gabe Clark, Elizabeth Sullivan, Grant Hamilton, Peyton Nelson, Dawson Otto, see she is proud of you get that, Allie Binger, Cameron Binger, Bailey Cole, Bailey Enander, Ashlyn Otto, Tyler Schoen, and Caleb Walker. Who do you look for? Kennedy Enander, Cassidy Johnson, Sydney Maynard and Colin McNeil. You can never be more than that because once you are in front of the next to not turn it and throw it off. Alright, so what I always like to say, we save the best for the last. So with my two co-coaches that I call them, please come down. Coco Co coaches. Uh, Coach McNeil and Coach Smith. Uh, I want to take this opportunity first of all to thank all the students, all the student athletes, uh, those who participate in our track program. Uh, you guys have had a tough season. It's been one of those years that doesn't come around very often and, and I've only been involved in a couple of those. Um, but, you know, when you, when you practice and practice and practice for a month and never have a track meet, it can get very old. And, and these guys come up with some great ideas. I leave to go to the AD conference and I get a, a message from my daughter saying, the kids are outside and I don't know what they're doing, but they're just running around, they're on top of people's shoulders. And they came up, they came up with an idea to not only do a little exercise and have a little fun. Put together a couple scavenger hunts throughout the track season. Kids enjoyed it. Uh, we had some ice cream one day. We worked hard and ate ice cream. It's kind of kind of productive, but the kids had fun. Um, but I want to thank you too because you know I think a lot of times I'm probably kind of hard to work with. I can kind of be grumpy and grouchy some of the time. Most of the time. These two put up with a lot. They help me out with a lot of a lot of things. Um, I, I'm very thankful to have two individuals who will they go above and beyond and do a lot of stuff. When they were there um, last week, they were with a daughter graduated from college, and they took the reins went out to Atlanta and uh, took care of things. I really appreciate it. So please give them a round of applause.
Like I said, we're just kind of starting here to strive. We're kind of about uh, two, three weeks behind with the way the season has gone. We had a lot of injuries. We run out of the roads. When we were younger, we run out of the roads and on the asphalt tracks. Kids were on the roads, and boy, we had injuries piling up. One time I got, a, I got the, the injury report for the week. It was about four screens on my telephone wall um, from our trainer, Nate Bayer. And I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what we're going to do. But we got through it. And Regent Track is, is coming up here real soon. It's uh, next Thursday in Escalade. And if you guys don't have anything to do, I know it's, uh, we're in a new region. We get stuck over uh, with all the same teams we have for our basketball season. So we really appreciate it. I believe it starts at 10 o'clock on that Thursday. If you don't have anything to do, kids love to see you out there. I want to thank the, the, the parents and everything for for uh, the support that you have and getting your kids to the track meets and coming for the support. We really appreciate that. And the kids do too. There are certain people that we always see there, we, we always hear them, and the kids hear them, and the kids see them, and it means a lot to them. We're very thankful for that. I will announce now, kids have the certificates on the, on the table, but um, I'll announce all the track runner winners. In order to win a track, you need to place in a high school varsity meet. This year, our girls place winners or our letter winners are Bailey Enander. Just please stand and hold your applause. Please stand. Bailey Enander, Cameron Binger, Trajan Lee, Elizabeth Salmon, Cassidy Johnson, Kennedy Enander, Dana Peterson, Caitlin O'Dell, Katie Ratchin, Ashley Massett, Madison Wolper, Danielle Knoll, Bethany Levy, Devin Nelson, Casey Stoner, and Jessica Godfrey for the girls. For our boys, we have Caleb Warner, Anthony Anderson, Ty Wolper, Grant Hamilton, Dawson Jam, Logan Gilbert, Colin McNeil, Cody Wright, Jack Boomba, Elliot Harper, Zach Gilbert, Raymond Cole, Kyle Hamilton, Kate Miller, Mason Bottom, Lennon Popper, and TJ Solomon. And Cody Anderson. Uh, I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank our student manager this year, and he's got a certificate there. And I, I decided that I was I don't usually have a student manager, but I but I decided that this year I would venture out again, and I, I approached Katie Bob, asked if he'd be student manager. I got a clipboard, a stopwatch, and turned it loose. So thank you very much, Katie. Okay. Given the student end of the year award, I don't know if we'll go that far yet, but it's something to work on. Okay. We have a few awards to give, uh, and uh, we're going to first start with the most approved awards for track. Our first award that we'll give out is um, for most approved girls. These, these are hard to give out, most improved, especially for track, because we find improvement amongst probably everybody as the season goes on. This young lady who came off the track, she had never been out the track. She never, I don't know if she ever watched the track meet before. She came out and really didn't know what events to try. We kind of threw her in a couple and she has gone from, I would say kind of being kind of nervous to go over the hurdles to now last week. She's cut probably five, six, seven seconds off from the first time she ran her 300 hurdles and her 100 hurdles, she cut another couple seconds off the last track meet. Um, she's showing improvement in just about every track meet that we go to. Um, she's on relays and that was a new experience for her also. This year's most improved girl track athlete is Elizabeth Solomon. And I think she had probably too many trackings because she did come to us from a little bigger school than what we're at right now. Our most approved boy this year, and this was something that we kind of went back and forth. We really didn't know what, who um, we should choose. There was, there was several that we thought that it could go to. And it's probably been the last week that it kind of just separated itself. And it's probably just the last track week that it really separated. And he kind of started to walk with a little bit of a hop in his step. 
And we've always been trying to figure out how can we light a fire that this kid has in that we know is there. And for some reason, the other day, it just kind of clicked. Love on us two tracks. And his, his jumps and, I mean, and his running and everything is just more and more and more improvement as the weeks go on. This year, our most improved boy athlete is Dawson Gamble. Our most valuable girl athlete, it gets kind of hard also. You have, you, you always have leadership among your team. Sometimes um, you have the younger athletes are gel with the older athletes. And we have a, a young lady who has been fighting off some injuries. But it seems like whatever we ask her to run, whatever we put her in, whether she's hurt or not, we never know because she won't ever tell us. But she puts 100%. She, she's uh, <coughs> on the verge of getting closer to, to qualifying in the long jump. She's on all of our relays. Um, she's one of the top runners in our quarter mile in our region. This year, our most valuable girl athlete is Dana Peterson. Our boys MVP this year, it's going to be a full cool MVP. Um, these two individuals push each other every day at practice. And, and um, they are probably our two bookends of our track team for our boys' side. Um, they put forth the effort every day. They're both right there at the top in our region to go to state. It's going to take a great effort, but they show, I mean, every day they, they come out. They bust their tails, they work hard. Um, once again, they're, they're two people that you put in whatever you ask them. They run it, and they don't ask any questions, and that's what you need from your, your leaders. And this year's boys MVP, co-MVP, are Grant Hamilton and Ty Hover. One other thing here as far as the track goes. Um, we have some individuals that will be awarded the academic all state track um, certificate. They are not yet out because we are kind of early and they are not here as of yet. But those individuals that we will have for academic all state will be Cameron Baird, Bailey Nader, and Kevin Warren. All right, we'll close it. First of all, I'd like to thank all the coaches because you know we, we still have a few of the other sports that are, that have already taken place. It's our last opportunity to thank all those coaches that put their time and effort to these kids, time away from their families, time away from you know other things that they maybe much rather be doing at, at times. I'd like to thank the parents. I'd like to thank the community members. A lot of our community members go, uh, they don't always get recognized. And there are far too many to name, and I would hate to name them and forget somebody. But between the Chuck and two of our communities, for all your, all your support that you have, all the things that you help us out with at the school, all the fundraising that, that these kids do, you guys always put forth that, and we're very appreciative for it because. We, we, we get the opportunity to buy things and do things because of your support. We really appreciate that. And I want you to know that it doesn't go unnoticed. Um, we, we at the school could never get back what you guys have given to us. So thank you very much for that. Um, students, athletes, uh, all your hard work, everything, we appreciate it. We wouldn't have our jobs if it wasn't for you. We wouldn't come to school every day if we didn't have kids like you to work with. Even though we holler at you sometimes and we get after you, yes, Cole, even though we do that, it's because we care about you, okay? And we want to see the best that you can become. 
question to each and every one of you. Seniors, you have left your impact on the school. I, 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 I hope that, like I said before, I hope that when you leave here, there's, there's nothing that you regret doing. I hope that you have accomplished or done everything that you put your mind to. We don't win championships all the time. We don't win all the time. But it's the effort that you put forth. And that's what you're leaving the rest of the kids. Is your leadership. You're passing the torch to the next group. Juniors, I hope you're ready. Because this will be you. And does it go fast, seniors? Some of will say it goes. But it goes fast. You're going to start the school year off next year, and you're going to be like, oh, this, I can't wait for this to be done, and it's done. Okay? Yes? That's a sad thing. There's... But seniors, thank you very much for all the, all the hard work, all the help, all the leadership. You are role models for our children, or our younger kids coming up. There are some kids here, and they're observing everything that you did tonight, every, all your accomplishments, everything that you have received. There's somebody out there going, man, I want to be like that. Man, I want to do that. I want to be the one that's called up there. And sometimes we overlook that. But thank you for everything that you've done. I wish you all the best uh, in your endeavors as you leave here. It will be a, another sad day to see you all go. But we pass the torch on to the next class. And um, just thank you. One last time. Also, the last thing I have is that for those of you who have, who have lettered in a sport, not only tonight, but another other nights, if you do not have your letter or your pin or whatever, please come see me. It just seems to be too chaotic getting them out to everybody. So make sure you come and see me probably on Monday, and make sure you get all those, especially the seniors, so that we have this for your graduation um, receptions and things. Once again, thank you, parents. Thank you, everyone, for coming. We appreciate all your support. We appreciate you for being here. Grab a cookie and a cup of juice to leave. Thank you.